reason they want to celebrate the beginning of the war is that it happens before the 2015 election. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I listen well, to what it is. There will be a war if they put the <laughs> white <laughs> They want, I mean, the War of 1812 celebrations were absurd. They, they spent $28 yeah. million dollars yeah. on the War of 1812. For nothing. Uh, and, and, and they invented all kinds of things that never happened historically. Like, Canada didn't exist in 1812, just one little technicality, <laughs> um, you know? And it was absolutely bizarre. When I found out they're going to celebrate the beginning of the World War I, they want to celebrate Dieppe, they want to celebrate, they want to have every possible military event a source of celebration. So, and then, of course, we're building up to the 175th birthday of Canada, so that's another big one. They're building up to that one. This is a government that Stephen Harper's brand has been to, in, to, to throw money at, at jingoistic flag-waving and try to build up particularly our military history, while, on the other hand, ignoring the anniversary of the creation of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. They didn't even put out a press release for that, mm. which is a rather significant event, the repatriation of our Constitution, the creation of the Charter. So, I mean, I, at some point in the future, we can, we'll, we'll, well, we can laugh at it now. It's absurd. But right now, this is something Stephen Harper likes to do. And there'll be a lot of money to local events. The idea that they're making part, well, you're, you're right, John. I mean, there is histor the Heritage Canada and Parks Canada. There's heritage properties within Parks Canada that they'll have to celebrate. But how you make Parks Canada, number one, they've taken away all the parks ecologists. Yeah. They don't have enough people to fight fires within Parks Canada or go rescue people. And they're privatizing, by the way. They've taken, oh, the worst. I should tell you this because I was attacked by a letter writer for Salt Spring Island, so I shouldn't forget to tell you this, is the creation of the Sable Island National Park. I tried to stop it. They've created a national park where the, the, the uh, drilling for oil and gas is, is built into the park. Yeah. yeah. So, the Sable that. Island National Park, the Canada Nova Scotia Offshore Petroleum Board has the right to decide to do seismic testing inside the park or approve directional drilling under the park, and they don't have to ask for permission from Parks Canada, they merely have to inform Parks Canada. They don't even have to consult Parks Canada. So it's the first time we've ever had a national park created with an industrial mandate. It's, it, to me, it's, it, it's, it's the erosion of every principle of ecological integrity for their national park system. And unfortunately, it was pushed through by unanimous consent when I was briefly out of the room and I left another MP there to make sure, because I went to meet with some climate people, I should never have left the room, because they tricked him. They had a speech started that lasted 20 minutes. A block Quebecois member was supposed to be watching for me to say no. And unfortunately, the NDP pushed it through, because it was in Megan Leslie's riding, and she wanted it through before the summer. So the NDP and the Conservatives and the Liberals went along with it by unanimous consent, have created a national park that allows for oil and gas activity inside a national park and lets the oil and gas regulator have superior regulatory authority to Parks Canada. And have created that president now. Yes. Yeah. I tried mm. so hard to stop it. I was, it, it, it a, a few people have asked me about it because a letter writer on Salt Spring said, you know, Elizabeth May's constituents should know she tried to stop a national park and what's wrong with her. So I need to tell her that. Um, we have that provincially as well. Uh, but I mean, national parks, have, I mean, we should have let that save the island. If that's the best you can do, let it be provincial park to protect the wild ponies and the seals. Don't create a precedent that destroys the principles of ecological integrity. So then, then they're also, they're privatizing in Jasper, you've probably seen this, they've got an ice walkway that's run by Brewster, tour company inside the Jasper National Park allowed them to build out to give people a better viewing scape. Now they're looking at approving a hotel inside Jasper. They've privatized hot springs in Banff. So the trend of what they're doing in parks is to cut back the funding so much that the pressure is on Parks Canada Agency to find sources of revenue so that they can actually run the park.